In this bump episode, for months, Bitcoin has been forming triangle after triangle with small breakout after small breakout, but did we miss the biggest triangle of all? And guys, we're not talking about the symmetrical triangle here on Bitcoin's chart that everybody has been following for years now, but instead this absolutely massive ascending triangle going back two years that Bitcoin has been trading in about 92% of its entire two year history. And guys, this is critical because as of right now, we're testing it for the third time in the last two years and this is absolutely very exciting for the space. And as well, we'll talk about the correlation between these two corresponding sets of data and what it means for Bitcoin's price, guys. This is absolutely so exciting. And aside from a two week period at the absolute very, very top of Bitcoin's price in December of 2017, as it was at 20,000 US dollars, this, aside from that time, in those two weeks is the highest that this metric has ever been. <laughs> Welcome back, Crypto Cavaliers. We have a lot to be delving into in this video. And we're going to be taking a look at a chart that I think a lot of people have been forgetting about. It's not the cryptocurrency market cap excluding Bitcoin. It's not all altcoins and it's not just Bitcoin. It's just the entire cryptocurrency space. And there is something extremely interesting uh, and extremely, extremely exciting that we're going to be taking a look at in these charts. And I don't believe I've seen anyone talk about it. So that makes it even more juicy. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get updated when we upload absolutely time sensitive jaw dropping data like this. And as well, if we can hit 1500 likes in this mega soda, we'll be giving away this ledger uh, equivalent in BTC or T4 access your choice in the next Shweb zone. Guys, so before we get into the main topic of today, I want to cover two on chain pieces of data that is extremely exciting. For one, there was a two week period just here back in the middle of December when Bitcoin was setting all time highs at 20K when the number of active addresses or the number of new addresses, the number of new addresses was extremely high. And as you can see on this chart, we're actually uh, basically up to that level aside from those two weeks right there as Bitcoin was at 20K. So if this is the starting point for this bull run, uh, which was basically the ending point for the last bull run. Imagine how much room and how much excitement, how much growth Bitcoin can have, guys, because this is more equivalent where we are right now in this cycle is more equivalent to probably back here in this cycle. So again, we have a lot of room for the next year and a half, two years, depending on who you ask. Absolutely exciting. And as well, the percent of Bitcoin that has not moved in the last year, there is a very strong correlation here with Bitcoin. And we see, and as we can see here, this is actually just now developing. You see a massive drawdown here in the supply of last active one plus years ago, going from about 63% currently, actually dipping down rapidly. And this is a trend I think we're going to see, but we see that correlation as Bitcoin is about to go on very strong runs, right? We saw it back here in 2013 and 2014 as Bitcoin set its new all time high uh, at over a thousand dollars. And we saw it in 2017 as Bitcoin was rallying to 20,000. So again, uh, another on chain piece of data supporting the idea that Bitcoin's price is about to absolutely erupt. But guys, most importantly, if we take the entire cryptocurrency market cap over the past two years, Bitcoin has come up to the level of right about 385 billion or slightly under 400 billion US dollars in the entire cryptocurrency market cap three times in the past two years, right? First time was back here in the summer uh, as we had this massive rally to 14K for Bitcoin. And then very recently, just in August, as altcoins were absolutely erupting, uh, that is what accounts for this massive spike here. Uh, and then also now, exactly where we are right now is the third time touching this. Now guys, looking at this chart, you see one thing very clear and you see a massive amount of uh, price that's actually not within this. So this is a 97 week ascending triangle. It's been going on for 97 weeks and 88 weeks of this triangle have been within this triangle. And only nine of those 97 weeks are accounting for this very small amount right here. And guys, can you take a guess what that is? Absolutely, it's the black swan event, the crash that began in March, uh, and it took us about two months basically to get back within this triangle. So if we disregard those two months that Bitcoin uh, and the entire market basically collapsed, then this triangle is 100% valid. So if we take a look at this, you see we have multiple touch points back here at the end of December and as well as February, where we formed this otherwise ascending triangle that broke us up to 14K, right? And then we had this touch, uh, that triangle at the very bottom broke us up to this touch at the very top of about 14K for Bitcoin, but for the entire crypto market cap it was right under 400 billion. And then we came and revisited it here back in December of 2019, where we formed the inverse head and shoulders here, 
you see that here, and then broke up to about 300 billion. Uh, and then you see what happened. We tested the bottom of this again, and obviously it broke, guys, right? Black Swan event, uh, again, destroyed the TA temporarily. However, what you see is that basically the entire time since we got back into this triangle at the beginning uh, of May, very end of April, we spent month after month literally testing the exact bottom of this. And when we finally bounced here, we went straight to the top of this triangle, right? And obviously 12.5 is where we found resistance there, which is also correlatively about 400 billion yet again for the entire crypto market cap. But again, most of that was actually because of altcoins. Because keep in mind, this, this uh, includes Bitcoin and altcoins. It includes every single cryptocurrency. So a lot of this pump uh, that we saw back in the summer of this year was mainly due to the altcoins. Remember the DeFi rally that we had, the massive altcoin explosion. But now this third touch is actually due primarily to Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin has been pumping. But before we got to this touch, again, we spent month after month actually finding support on the bottom of this again. So over the past pretty much 100 weeks, cryptocurrency as a whole has been within this ascending triangle uh, about 90% of the time. And that 10% basically only is because of the massive crash that we had in Bitcoin and the global markets back in March. So guys, this is huge because for the most part, we only look at either Bitcoin or we just look at some of our alts, but very rarely do people look at the entire, entire cryptocurrency market cap. And if we did, we would see this very bullish, in my opinion, pattern, which is literally 100% valid if we discount the black swan event that was beginning in March. And again, even with that black swan event, it only took us two months to actually get back and hold this as support over and over and over again and find resistance at this very key level over and over and over again. So guys, in my opinion, this holds the key to the next bull market. Uh, and again, what's most exciting about this is that we're literally testing to break out of this right now. So we look at Bitcoin's chart and we, we wonder like, why are we not going up as much? We also have to factor in the fact that uh, the entire cryptocurrency space is also on the brink of a massive explosion. And if this does, then Bitcoin and the entire altcoin market, everything will be rallying like crazy in my opinion. And as well, I'm sure you're aware that uh, we have yet another symmetrical triangle. This entire past few months has basically been symmetrical triangle after symmetrical triangle that was so ugly this one right here uh, this one right here and there are just so many more this is on the daily chart but then we have on this one hour chart uh so again very small it's only been going on for like three days but another symmetrical triangle here wow now that's exciting guys because we've been looking and we've been staring at these bitcoin charts at least i have been staring at these bitcoin charts i've even been staring every day at the entire altcoin chart uh, everything except bitcoin that market cap but uh when we just change our attention to the entire thing i think this paints an insanely bullish picture for uh, the price of cryptocurrency as we head into one of the most explosive, if not maybe the most explosive Bitcoin and cryptocurrency rally that we've ever seen. Unbelievable. So let's try and hit that like goal uh, and leave your comment and make sure you subscribe below to enter for the Sledgesodes. And as well, guys, if you're interested in trading, we have seven days left uh, where if you deposit, if you create a new account and deposit on Bybit using my link below, you can get up to an additional $390 for trading on Bybit only if you have experience, please only if you have experience trading and if you want to support the channel as well.